what's going on guys so this is another uh, lighter video I wanted to uh, talk about my all-time favorite table lighter and it's right here and I know some of you who have watching the videos for a long time you probably remember this one but this is just my most used and favorite table lighter of all time I absolutely love it um, if you come in on the bottom here all right, turn this and uh, zoom on in and I get the right angle, you could probably see the logo in the bottom, which says Vector. Whoop, there we go, and it's upside down, so that's not helpful. All right, so, <laughs> there we go. So yes, this is a Vector brand table lighter. All right, this has a crystal-like uh, body. All right, we have a butane top, so this is the actual lighter. All right, fill from the bottom, have your adjustments, push down, awesome single butane flame. Very reliable, no issues at all. Close the cap there. But what makes this obviously interesting and cool is to take out the cup that holds the lighter. And we have a cavity which can hold large coins. You could put marbles in here. Literally fill this with whatever you want. I happen to love this because uh, this fills these, or excuse me, fits these large coins. Now, I actually have a, a bunch of Morgan uh, Peace Dollars in here. All right, an awesome, awesome, you know, silver coin. Um, but these, which you may not tell from just looking at this quick video or first glance, but these are actually all fake. I got these specifically for this lighter. I actually posted this on Instagram. These are not genuine. These are, you know, replicas, I guess you'd call them. Um, but I thought it was really cool for specifically this lighter. I actually used to keep a bunch of Eisenhower uh, Ike dollars in here. But I've since switched to these. I zoom back in here because I want to show you the uh, optical illusion that this glass creates, which I think is really, really cool. So you can see the size of the coin here in my hand, right? And you can see I have this on kind of an angle. But when I turn this, it gives the illusion that these coins are really, really small. All right, so if I put the coin in, you can see it's it's like it's shrinking. All right, pretty interesting. So it's big, and then it's small. So I get a kick out of that. And literally, there's there's been dozens of times where I'm you know sitting outside smoking a pipe, or in most cases using this smoking a uh, cigar, and uh, just playing with it, just looking at that. Like okay, it's a teeny little you know looks like a quarter size coin. And you got to pull it out, and it's huge. There's a cool optical illusion that happens there. So, uh, yeah, I just, I've always liked this one. Um, it's very heavy. Uh, as a table lighter, it's amazing because it is extremely stable. Uh, particularly, I mean, even without the coins, it's fairly heavy. It's not going to easily tip over in the wind or anything. But once you do fill this up with a bunch of uh, coins, it becomes very, very stable. Yeah, just, uh, just pretty cool. It just something that I, I loved when I first got it. I mean, I really, really enjoyed it. And uh, I just continue to enjoy it. And it's just my all-time favorite table layer. Pop your lighter on. And you are good to go. Nice strong flame. It is adjustable. All right, it holds a decent amount of fuel. You know, even though it's uh, only a, a smaller tank like that. It's more butane than you might think. Uh, but I just think it's really cool. I just, like I said, it's, it's something that always brings a smile to my face. I love it. I do have a Zippo table lighter. That's right. Finally, a Barcroft. Um, eventually I'll do a video on that. I actually got it a while back. I just, you know, been procrastinating with that particular video. Uh, I've always loved, absolutely loved the Zippo table lighters. They tend to be very expensive on the secondary market. Obviously they haven't been made in many years, uh, but they're interesting. And there's a couple different, you know, varieties of them, like the Lady Barcroft. Uh, they have the one that's on the little, you know, stand. It looks more like a Zippo. Um, and I'm sure there's some other ones too. I can't think of at the moment. But very, very collectible, very expensive, um, but I do actually use the one that I have, so I will eventually show that to you. I think table lighters are really, really cool, but it is something that's slowly fading away. These were immensely popular in the uh, like 50s, 60s, and 70s. Everyone smoked. Everyone smoked cigarettes, they smoked around the kids, no one cared, it was fine. And obviously now in, uh, in 2020, smoking is definitely frowned upon. Um, it's a different society, you know, um, everything's changed and smoking's bad, you know, it's very frowned upon, especially, you know, smoking around kids and stuff. Whereas, uh, back a couple decades, no one cared. No one really, uh, thought about it much. So there was lighters everywhere cause they needed them, right? Table lighters. There were communal lighters. 
That's what makes it kind of fun. It's not like a, a you know a pocket lighter that is yours that maybe you can let someone borrow for a second. These would literally sit on an end table, sit on a coffee table, and when someone needed to use it, they would just grab it. It's a commutal lighter. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's kind of fading out a little bit, the uh, popularity of table lighters. So uh, I want to know if you have a table lighter and if you use it. I think that'd be interesting. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.